hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to have you here today um today i'm going to do some cooking stew light stew so the items i'm going to use for my soup uh i have um microfish here yeah? i have microfish here yeah? i have three big microfish here yeah? I've washed it and I've sliced it. And um, I have um, butter beans here. The one in the tin is already cooked. And I have um, chopped tomato plum here. Here are my pepper. This um, big red pepper, I've cleaned it and chopped it. These two onions, two medium onions, and three um, hot pepper. And here is my um, ginger and garlic paste. As you know, I don't use to use salt in my cooking because the kusherek I'm using have salt. So I have a um, kusherek here. So I have kusherek here. Um, I, I pour it here. So I still have some little one um, here. So I'm going to be using that. And I have my juniper berries blend. I really don't have a concern. I think I do. Let me use this empty. It's not even much there. Don't let me waste your time. So I have um, my juniper berries here, the grand one. As you can see, so I'm going to be using that as well. So let's get started. So guys, oh. The wire is not long. Uh, my other blender is broken, so I got a new one. The wire is it's not as long as I thought. Okay, no problem. I got a new one, so I'm going to be blending my my aubergine. Aubergine is also known as, as eggplant. So this is my aubergine. I've cooked it, then I removed the skin. It has been cooked. And I remove the skin. So I will be blending that with my diced pepper here. So I'm going to mix them together and blend them. I really don't know how to use it because it's the first time. So my, my hands are clean. I have two aubergine here that's been cooked and I peel off the skin. These are the skin that I took off from the aubergine. And I'm going to be adding my pepper. I really don't want it to be really full so that I can... So I'm going to add water. So I'm adding water into my blender so that it will be easy for me to blend all together. Um, lest I forget, I want to add, um, what is it called, iru, um, local beans. I just remember now. My children doesn't like seeing it in their soup, so I want to blend it. I should have soaked it because I have the dry one. They say I have the dry one, but I'm going to blend it together. I should have soaked them. They don't like seeing it, but it's very good. This blender is so good. Let's have this. Oh. Okay. So 
So I'm going to be hiding my my plug. This is the contact. So I'm adding my chopped tomato into my then I'm going to rinse my can. So I'm going to blend it again. I want it to be really smooth. Oh, but guys, I'm sorry. You know, it's the first time I'm using it, so. So guys, you can see the the smooth um consistency of the um pepper is very smooth and thick because of the aubergine. Aubergine um make the the ground pepper to be thick. So guys, I'm going to be. I'm going to be um, saving the pepper because I want the soup to be light. I really don't want it. Okay, guys, I've finished saving the the pepper. I really want the the other part that doesn't have any particle you can see it's thick and this the remaining um pepper that is still out from the the one that has seed and other parts that is still out so i'm not going to throw this away i'm going to be using it for something else which i will show you when i i did it but for now i'm going to put it aside and continue with my cooking so guys this place is messy so i have and um, there is my butter beans so i'm going to open it i supposed to blend it together with the pepper but i don't want to miss the the remaining uh what is it called particles that will be left from this and the uh, other peppers because i'm not going to throw it away i'm going to use it for something else so i'm going to drain the water now i think this beans is also called lima beans i think it's also called, so called lemon beans the butter basically see is flat and then um, It's flat as opposed to okay. So I'm going to be saving it here as well. Oh god. Don't want to put my pepper in here. I think I'm going to blend it so that it will be easy for me. It's a little bit hard not really hard you need some it's not really hard but i'm going to blend it so that it's going to be easy i'm going to use the liquid to blend it together guys i'm blending my um my butter beans so that it will be easy for me to save it so <laughs> But if you want to do it, you can blend it together. It's because um, I'm going to 
we use the other particle of the pepper. That's why I didn't blend them together. And I don't want beans inside. You can see now, instead of me using my spoon to press and press and press, this is so easy. guys these are all the particles that's left and they say it's my blended pepper with the aubergine and then um, butter beans so let me put this aside and see so smooth so so smooth and thick So let's start our cooking. Okay, guys, I'm going to be using olive oil for my cooking today. It's, it's not... I think that is okay. Too much oil is not good for you, though. Is it um, healthy oil, olive oil? But at the same time, too much of everything is not good. So I'm going my hoy to get out. So guys, my hoy is out now. So I'm going to be adding my blended pepper. Nothing is going to waste. I'm going to raise it. I really want it light if it's thick i'm going to add um more water to it but for now i'm going to leave it like that so i'm going to add my uh, garlic and ginger paste Moving ahead to add my uh -huh, my juniper berries, the one I grind there. Just let it. Then I'm adding my kushara so that everything can cook together. This one soup spoon is okay. Then I'm going to mix it together. So I'm going to leave it to steam, to cook together. guys as you can see so light no particles so smooth now because this so 
so guys you can see the difference at this stage all the foaming at the top of the um soap can i say disappear or dissolved so the hoy is coming out now that's when you know your soap is getting ready so i'm going to leave it for another five to ten minutes okay guys as you can see my soup is ready for me to put um, to add my fish I've cleaned it you can see I really clean it and I soak it with some salt well I leave some um i don't know what to call it's egg the one at the middle fish egg i love the fish egg so i normally used to look at it very well five minutes is going to be done so I finished adding my fish, so I'm going to leave it to steam for like 10 minutes and I'll still is done. Hello guys, as you can see, our soup is done. You can't even know if there's aubergine in it or beans. So it's light soup, very light. And I have my hamala here. That I just prepared so you can eat it with anything with rice with gari with pando yam added yam that's what i meant with anything i'm taking mine today with um amala and i'm going to be pouring my stews imagine look at this food amazing this food will just I have to change my spoon so I pour it all over my hamala and um, I like egg fish so I'm going to take that oh me too <laughs> so guys this is it it's so nice can't even tell the difference it's smooth the taste is heaven okay guys come and join me again the stew is nice the amala is on point the fish is succulent juicy and nice so guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and press that notification button so that you'll be you are going to be the first person to get my video bye